Hello world. This is my Galaxy S phone, my old phone. I decided to uh, try to do something with it since it seemed like it was just a waste uh, sitting in a drawer. So I said, what can I do with this guy? And I said, let's try to put Ubuntu on it. So I started doing some research and I found out there is a mobile version of Ubuntu that is not released yet and probably won't be released for one or two years. Um, but the pre-release was available for Nexus phones and I, I downloaded that and then I was able to d track down some packages that um, tweak it a little bit to make the screen and everything work with the with this Epic 4G or Galaxy S, whatever you want to call it. So um, I did that, installed Qu Clockwork Mod on there, flashed the Android, got rid of that and installed uh, the Ubuntu Mobile Touch uh, system on here. This is not using the Connect to Linux app from the App Store. Uh, that basically allows you to dual boot um, Linux over your Android system. Um, but I figured that would take way too many resources for this old phone. So I said, get rid of Android. Let's just uh, try to boot it right, right from the get-go. So we did that. It looks like it's loaded up. Um, as you can see, it already connected to my Wi-Fi. It does take a minute to load and uh, get actually up and running before it, it's it's not laggy um, but if we give it a second here it should it should load pretty well just give it some time uh, but as you can see it does have the Ubuntu uh, task panel bar over here that you could use to uh, do whatever you gotta do just like you would in normal Linux and uh, has the app or your home screen, home screens. There's five home screens for your apps, videos, um, home music, people. Uh, basically, it's a really nice interface, though. You can scroll through your music. Uh, basically, browse up here. Once you pick something, you can scroll through the rest down here, which is a really nice interface. Same thing with people. You can scroll through your contacts up here. These are all just preloaded contacts that came with the. Uh, with, with the operating system. Um, home screen has a little gist of everything that's going on. Your apps, you can pull up your app drawer. None of these really actually work at the moment because it is the pre-release. Uh, video is the same way. You can just pull up the video. It gives you some information. You can download it, buy it if you need to. Um, basically, uh, I should be able to pull up my Facebook because uh, it is connected to the Wi-Fi but like I said it is a little bit laggy because it's made for to be put on phones that aren't even in existence yet so more powerful phones but you can scroll down uh, you can go across your different uh, basically pick an icon that you want scroll down it'll show you or you could scroll down and move your thumb over to move back and forth between the different icons up top. But yep, basically it's just pretty new, uh, pretty awesome that you could run Ubuntu on on a phone. And yeah, uh, left swipe right there it brings you back to your home screen. I should be able to right swipe here and pull that Facebook back up. But like I said, everything's not working because this OS really isn't made for this phone. It's pretty cool that I got it up and running. Uh, I am a fan, but it really doesn't do anything yet. So it will be uh, deleted. I'm probably going to try to actually put the real Ubuntu OS on here, the actual one for desktops, and uh, see if see if I could get that up and running because that would actually do stuff rather than this is just more like a preview to what's coming in the future for Ubuntu. Uh, but yeah, just to show you, it is possible can work um, pre-release of the pre-release of the pre-release basically but it's out there you can do it if you uh, can find it